Today we have Shikanoin Jesus, Collected Miscellany. This is called a Hurricane Breakthrough. So we're gonna hear Dane Slept talk about his kit once again. We pretty much know at this point, considering he's out now and all the other trailers. But let's go ahead and check it out. Technically speaking, the Tenryo Commission has no formal position called detective. However, formal or not, Doshin Shikanoin is indisputably the Commission's top sleuth. It and every like co-worker it. and criminal he has ever met has come to refer to him as that famous detective. Even the most rigid of rules will bend to accommodate extraordinary talent. And so the young prodigy detective's reputation only continues to grow. I'm on the case. He's on the case. Hazo prefers to avoid physical combat and prides himself on winning battles with his intellect. However, even he admits that sometimes the martial arts skills that his father made him learn are vital when defending himself in the pursuit of justice. Oh, so his father taught him. Although cracking cases is a detective's core duty, Hazo believes his true calling lies in preventing would-be criminals from ever committing crimes in the first place. When Shikanoin Heizo is in the party, he reduces Ooh. sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members. That's making nice. Exploration faster. Heizo's That's nice. normal attack performs up to five strikes that deal animo damage. His charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to perform a sweeping kick dealing animo damage. Nice. Animations are so good. Tap Heizo's elemental skill to wield the swift winds and launch a powerful strike that deals animo damage. Holding the skill charges energy and allows Hazo to obtain up to four stacks of the declension effect, which increases the power of the next elemental skill. When the oh, skill I know released, that. Or the skill finishes charging, Hazo strikes forward, dealing animo damage. I didn't know that. When Hazo possesses four declension stacks, the conviction effect is produced, further increasing the damage and AoE of the next elemental skill. Oh, so After the next charge? After the talent's paradoxical practice, Shikanoin Heizo will gain one declension stack when he triggers a swirl reaction on the field. This effect oh. can only be gained once per short period. Strategic yeah. use of this effect allows Heizo to quickly gain declension stacks and increase the power of the elemental skill. Nice, you don't, you don't have to like sit there and charge it. Yeah. Instincts enable Heizo to quickly pinpoint the motive and method behind a crime. His sheer brilliance means that many aspire to one day partner with him on a case. <laughs> when the talent penetrative reasoning is unlocked, penetrative after reasoning elemental skill hits an opponent, the elemental mastery of all other party members is increased for a limited time. Oh, wow. All right, no, that's cool. That's actually really good. When Hazo unleashes his elemental burst, he leaps into the air and kicks the Fudo style vacuum slugger towards the enemy. That goes the far. The vacuum slugger explodes on hit creating a wind tunnel that pulls in nearby objects and opponents and deals AOE animo damage. When Vacuum Slugger hits enemies affected by Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it afflicts them with Windmuster Iris. No danger. Moments later, Windmuster Iris explodes and dissipates, dealing AOE damage of the corresponding elemental type. Vacuum Slugger can afflict a maximum of four enemies with the Windmuster Iris. A single enemy cannot be affected by irises of different elemental types at the same time. Oh. Uh, Though Shikano okay. and Heizo always chooses brains over brawn, he is nimble and well practiced in the martial arts of his clan. This, plus his keen sense of battle judgment, makes him more competent hey. at close quarters combat than most imagine. In battle, the elemental skill is Heizo's main means of attack. A smart Taser. offensive allows him to rack up declension stacks and unleash a more powerful elemental skill. When energy is full, Hazo unleashes his elemental burst and uses the vacuum slugger to deal animo damage. I love that name. By effectively coordinating with his teammates, Hazo can afflict enemies with the Windbuster Iris, lowering their defenses while assisting his allies. Mm -hmm. Pretty clean, honestly. Pretty clean. For most detectives, finding the Zongo. truth is the end goal of every case. Once the file is closed and the criminal brought to justice, the satisfied sleuth sits back and congratulates themselves on a job well done. But even a job well done is not enough for Hazo. Finding the truth is good, 
but finding a way to dissuade criminals in the first place is even better. It's true. If it were anyone else, I would laugh off their delusions of grandeur. Surely no single detective could hope to reduce crime through the sheer weight of their reputation. And yet, in the case of Shikano in Heizo, I find myself entertaining a faint and uncharacteristic sense of optimism. <laughs> With that said, it is a pity that a detective of his caliber was unavailable to take on the case of the deicide of the God of Contracts. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Where were you at then? That's where we really needed you. Yeah, he seems cool, man. I mean, honestly, he has like a, a pretty clean kit, you know? I like how he can actually like kind of buff his other party members uh, if he gets a swirl as well. So it's pretty cool. I like the, the animations are pretty good. He does like a decent amount of damage, you know, once he gets the, the actual charge going. They put him in like in a taser team you saw there. They, they had like Fashil and, and Beto. I think Xing Cho's in there too. All right, it was Yelan, I think. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, I'll be trying him out today on stream and seeing, you know, well, the demo is not the best way to like test them out, but you know, for anybody who has him already, let me know in the comments what you guys think about him so far. Uh, I'm sure, you know, he'll, he'll probably be pretty cool right now, but there'll probably be like a better spot for him in the future, I think, you know, in terms of like where Genshin is at. Well, my favorite thing about him is the stamina consumption. So he can sprint for longer, it's passive. Once again, if you have him, let me know what you think about him and that will do it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one.